Hello, my beautiful makeup people. This is a tutorial. Um, I'm not really sure what to call this look just yet. Um, I actually did this on a bride a while back. And, um, it was a nighttime wedding and she wanted to be a little bit more dramatic and sexy. And this is what I came up with and she loved it. So, um, very simple. It uh, requires a lot of blending, lots of colors. Um, if you do not have these colors, by all means, Go to the drugstore and find similar colors. It's all about your blending and your brushes. I always invest in your brushes. Um, I use MAC and Coastal Sense. Um, I'm working on getting the Sigma brushes. I think in the next page or two I'll get them. So, um, yeah, let's get started. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I have already primed my lid with Urban Decay Primer Potion. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, a cream color base and this is the color shell and I'm going to take shell and I'm going to apply it right here of my highlight and you really want to take that color on because it won't really show in pictures. You do it three times it should be enough. Perfect. Then I'm going to take the color blue just like that. It's almost time for a new one. Take a big old fluffy brush like this take that and you're going to apply this all on your lid. It's going to be your base color. And then after that, we're going to take just, and then you're going to take a brush that looks like this, because you're going to be using both sides. Um, take just, put it in the first half part of your lid. And just is like a pinky color. A nice pink shimmery frost color. It's beautiful. And then after that, you're going to take the color Patina. It's like a bronzy, light brown color. You're going to take the brush that you just used, flip it over like this. It's already dirty because I used it on this side. And then you're going to take the other half and put it over here. And I forgot to do a huge step. I always forget this part. I gotta get some tape. Take some tape, regular scotch tape, put it on the top of your hand, take it off, and then put it right here. This will keep the nice shape of your eye and how you want your crease to look like that. Take it again. After that, you're going to take um, wood winked, and you're going to take another brush, and I have one. I'm going to take this one. It's a nice flat shader brush, the wood winked. This was a deep cutting on so it looks so good. And I'm going to get it out of where the teen is. Where is that? After that, you're going to take um, espresso. Now, I ran out of espresso about two days ago, so um, if you have the Tempting Quad, this color right here is a really nice dupe. It's matte. It's called um, Dark Edge. Just use that. Um, take a nice shader, little smudger brush like that. Take it, dab it in. Put it right here in the face. And you want to kind of like, like make this a little bit bigger. Remember, the bigger the circle, the better the blend. But we don't want to make it a big, big, big blend. So. And then I took a flat buffer brush like this. And I took it in the speed of the application. Just so then it like blends really well with the shell. The silk requires a whole lot of blending. Which after that, you're gonna take two pigments. Um, this one is called Sunny Days. Swatch on my hand right here. 
do take that and you're going to put it in your crease. So all you need is, I use Max 217 for this. Take Max 217, put it on the thing, but you want to take off the excess, obviously. So you take the cap and stab it in. There's going to be a whole lot of fallout, so I mean, don't follow what I did. I already put my foundation on. It's just a powder foundation, but I would suggest waiting to do that before you put it on. And then all the way up here. And then I'm going to take dark soul paint. It's like a deep bluish gray. It actually makes a really pretty contrast with um, the golds that you're using. I'm going to take another smudge brush and some pointy. Take it, dip it in. I'm going to take the cap. Take it and just dab it in there. And then take this brush right here. This is a elf blending brush, so take that. Take more of that dark soul pigment. You just gotta. Now you're going to um, line your eyes. Um, I'm using Max Black Track Blue line and a nice angled brush. My brush is all over here, so I can't get really this. You just take it and you dab it in and you line it. Um, it's a little bit hard for me to do it on camera, so I'll be right back. I'm putting on my false lashes, so I'll be right back. And here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's, it's a pretty simple tutorial. Um, just requires a lot of blending. Remember, it's all about your blushes. If you guys do not have the financial um, means to go and get MAC, by all means, go and find dupes of these colors at drugstores. Um, they're such good quality. If you'd like me to do tutorials on drugstore products, I can. Um, I have a ton, so just let me know. On my lips, I used a Lancome color. I think it was Pet Me Please. It's in my last haul that I just posted like yesterday I think it was. And then I used um, a MAC lip gloss. Um, again, I don't remember. I'll post it. It's from the Foffy, it's from the Foffy collection, so it's, it's pretty old. <laughs> but um, again, just do, 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 do. Um, I did pink. You can do neutrals. You can do dark. You can do whatever you want. Um, the lashes are Ardell's lashes, and I think they're the Demi's. No, they're the 101 Demi's. Um, again, very easy to apply. I have to work on the whole um, doing it on camera. It just trips me out. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.